What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Outpost. It is me, Jello, and today we are going over a deck that I've already recorded a couple of times, but due to me not liking the way that it came out, I went back and have been re recording. And the last time that I finished it, I realized I was missing a card that wasn't specifically part of the archetype, but is also getting released alongside this stuff that um, I wanted to add to the video. So we're going to do that. And hopefully this is the last time that I have to record this. So let's get straight into the Rotovisors. So these are battling robots and they are the new age coming of Nova Grapplers basically in lore and through ability as well. And we're going to see the way that that plays out in the ability. So let's just get straight into it. We have the starter with Rotovisor. The grand team made a spectacular debut with their next generation battle usage OS equipped with Visor. So for anyone that is familiar with Gundam, I don't know if this is the correct apples to apples comparison, but I'm assuming that's like the exam system. Yeah, any of the other OS's that we've seen throughout just the exam system was the first thing that came to mind with me. But anyway, it's the same ability as every other grade zero. So yeah, that's it. I just wanted to show off the art because it looks really, really nice. It's not exactly looking like a Gundam. Its feet are looking pretty big. It's looking more like an armor core, actually. But uh, yeah, really cool. Anyway, let's move on to the grade one in Eldea Rotovisor. A fighting style full of romance and extravagance that instantly captured the hearts of the audience. So, Nova Grapplers, they are battling robots, as I said, and they basically fight for sport, is, is the easiest way I could think that it has been explained in the lore. But, yeah, that explains the oh, capturing the crowd and stuff. But its first ability is when this unit is rode upon by a grade 2 with Rotovisor in its card name, search your deck for up to one arena card, reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your deck. Then its second ability is when your other unit in the same column as this unit stands, that unit gets an extra 5k until end of turn. So uh, we'll talk about the first ability first. It does let you search the main gimmick order of the deck on ride, so that's really good. It automatically gets you one of three required copies that you need to fully make use of your grade three's ability but we'll get into that a little bit later but yeah just keep that in mind that this card does get you one third of the way it's basically like the it would be heroes grade one in that way but yeah really nice there and then its second ability when another unit in the same column as this unit stands that unit gets an extra 5k so this allows you to swing with a boost first and then when you restand your units due to your other units abilities then they restand get extra power and this extra 5k usually does get your 10k front row rear guards to that 15 among the other field buffs that you get in the deck but it does guarantee in most cases that your grade two is swinging by itself for a minimum 25k so that is one thing that is really good about the grade one right here but yeah really solid solid grade one for longevity on the field it definitely is a card that you want there because you will just be restanding things so that is really nice and i do assume that we are going to get self restanding units in the next set or in the future kind of like the victor rush stuff it's not going to be on par with how some things were able to just restand right away but we are going to definitely get things that other rear guards that restand uh rotovisor units or something like that but yeah that will be this will be really good in those times especially with the advent of all of the anti blitz order cards that are coming out it's not going to be used in every deck but it is something to take into consideration as it does seem like like at least two of the nations in dragon empire and stoikeia have had their anti-rush cards put in and dragon empire card in particular it does hit a lot of brand gate decks but I'm not going to get into that in this video. 
Anyway, move on to the grade two. I've said this so many times, it feels so corny saying it now, but it looks like an act guy mixed with a humrabi. And yeah, it's just in the water. That's just what it reminds me of. This is Wasa Roto Visor. All classes are weakened by the battle roids. That is the absolute goal of the team. First ability, when this unit is rode upon by a grade three with Roto Visor in his card name, look at the top seven cards of your deck. Choose up to one of either a grade three or greater card with Roto Visor in his card name or an arena card from among them. Reveal it, put into your hand, shuffle your deck. If you do not reveal anything, call this to rear. So it does get you that top seven search. It's a pretty good number of search. You have six maximum targets as you'll have already had one copy of your grade three used in your ride deck and you'll also have one copy of the arena in your hand or on the field by this time because your grade one searches it for you on your grade two turn so you're looking for six cards right now there probably will be great the rotovisor support in the future that this will be able to search and that will be really nice but so far we have six search targets we're looking at the top seven and it's not that bad of a search and even if you don't hit anything it does call itself out and it's a second ability is really good for it so when this unit attacks if you have a vanguard with rotovisor in his card name this unit gets 5k until end of battle and it doesn't seem to be limited by vanguard grade so you could start rushing from grade two if you want to with just a front row chock full of wasa rotovisors and you should be okay i mean not okay but you should have pretty decently sized lanes going into that battle phase but yeah that is the grade two and last but not least for the ride chain, at least, we have Granzel Rotovisor. Become a star that pierces through the sky. Miriel the Meteor. Pretty cool. I'm assuming that's the whole Gundam thing that Gundams do when they have a bunch of Gundam guns on their Gundam packs. They just shoot lasers and everything in every direction and for some reason only hit enemies. <laughs> but yeah, that's really cool. Um, first ability during your turn, if you have three or more arena cards in your order zone, all of your front row units get 5k. Then second ability, once per turn, at the end of the battle that this unit attacked, counter blast two. Draw a card, choose the same number of rear guards as the number of arena cards in your order zone, and stand them. If you chose three or more, all of the chosen mirror guards get an extra 5k until end of turn. So you're just basically restanding your field by the time you have four arenas in your order zone. Now there's one thing to take note of that this card's two abilities are heavily contingent on you having at least three copies of your arena by the time turn four rolls around because one the arena is a great two two you only have one guaranteed search and then you get one top seven search to get your second copy and i can see this deck being a little hindered by that if not very hindered by the fact that both of its abilities don't fully go off until you have three of four potential arenas uh, in your order zone and it's a little bit different from heroes in my opinion because the bases do a lot more and even if you only have two bases in your order zone uh, unite dianos's ability still has the extra 5k to your front row rear guards and it, it it doesn't feel great to be locked behind a turn four or requirement again it is first wave of support i do understand that this will take quite a few sets to get to that same rate getting the order zones or that consistency of the order zones it's just that that really hinders the deck if you are really really unlucky and two of your arenas go into the damage zone then you're going to have a much harder time i'm not saying that's impossible to do anything from the damage or the drop zone even but it does make things very difficult and if there's anything that i know it's that stuff like that can really happen so that is the biggest grain of salt it's, it's almost as big as a rock when, when looking at this deck because it, it can be really fun you're basically giving an extra let's see the first ability gives a blanket 10k to your field the second ability puts a maximum 
of another 20k to the field so you're going an extra 30k to your field from your vanguard by itself during the turn actually no it's not even just 30k it's actually an extra let's see so your rear guards attack before your vanguard and those still have plus 5k so that's 5k 10k you attack with your vanguard restand all of your lanes consider like assuming that you have four of the arenas in your order zone you're giving an extra 20k maximum to the field and then on top of that they still have this extra 5k so that's an extra 40k power overall to your field counter blast 2 kind of feels it doesn't feel great <laughs> but considering that nothing else in the deck seems to be counter blasting i think it's fine for now we're probably going to get support in the future that reduces counter blast costs we're definitely going to get this flagberg got it after i don't know how many sets but and this is definitely going to get something along the lines of that as well if not then we're just going to have to rely on the order which we will talk about next so i really like granzel rotovisor i have a very strong reservation about how well it's going to do with this first wave of support i don't think it's bad i don't think it's terrible but there are definitely a lot of things especially that are coming out alongside of this that do make this feel a little bit more nerfed automatically coming out of the gate but yeah it's nova grapplers i'm a nova grappler guy and i will play this anyway all right moving into the main gimmick we have uh, Nova Grapple Arena, Urban City. This is the most ardent place in the world. The, don't miss the amazing battle. Set order, arena, and when your unit attacks, if you have a vanguard with Rotovisor in its card name and no other arenas um, in your order zone were rest during this battle, you can rest this card, choose the attacking unit, and it gets when this unit's attack hits, either counter charge or energy charge two until end of battle. So that's really cool. I guess this is kind of why it would be okay if we never got a counter charger because we have it built in into the archetype. It's just the the only thing is, is that it's on hit and you're very reliant on the amount of copies that you have because these attacks need to hit. So as soon as you declare an attack, if it's not big or if it's not difficult to guard, then the attack's not going through. And if you're playing against a deck i feel like I, m I may just be a little biased because i've been forced to play against lyrical monasterio consistently but not every deck will leave extra things out on the field for you to be able to bait attacks with so in most cases you're swinging at a vanguard and at five damage i guess you should be just swinging at your opponent's vanguard but it can be very limiting for the deck because if you don't counter charge at all and for some reason you never heal throughout the game you can at best activate your vanguard's ability twice it feels like the deck either lives or dies by this card like you cannot not have the three copies of this card in your order zone by turn four it feels almost imperative that you have all of these in there as soon as possible because if not it's slower and it doesn't provide you as much value in the same time that let's say one of the stride decks do and of course i know the stride decks are stupid but we have to compare it to that because that's what is at the the top of the table you can kind of see where the thought process is with it because <clears throat> i mean you get four potential counter charges a turn I feel like it would have been better, but it would have also been broken if we had the effect stay until end of turn, because then you'd realistically only need two on in your order zone, and then you'd have a potential for four counter charges, if that makes sense. Um, because you swing with your rear guard first, activate this, swing with your other rear guard before attacking with your vanguard, activate another one, restand them with Anzo, and then they still have those on hits after but i feel like that's probably just too op but this deck will live and die by this card so you just need to have a bunch of these 
in your hand as the game is starting so that you can just guarantee three copies of this in your order zone as soon as possible because that's when this deck really gets to start playing because if not then you're just not getting the rest of this value and this power here i feel is very important in terms of how well this deck will perform especially in stoikea matchups people are going to throw a copy of that blitz order in so that's just the one thing to keep in mind again next we have the compassionate mechanic i did the maintenance you better not lose during your turn if you have two or more arena cards in your order zone this unit gets an extra 5k so she is a 15k beater and once per turn at the end of the battle that this unit attacked if you have a grade 3 or greater vanguard and an arena card in your order zone was rest during this battle you can energy blast three draw a card choose one of your other units and it gets 5k until end of turn that's really good again there's just this deck just feels so fun the main problem is getting all of those arenas into your order zone fast enough that that is that is just the uh, that is the main concern that i have hopefully i'm what i'm hoping is that we get more arenas because this one it even from the name has set up does feel like it's setting a precedent for um we'll get the the what was it the urban city and then we'll get a forest and then we'll get a desert and then we'll get the arctic and then we'll get outer space and stuff like that hopefully we get different types of arenas and then each one of them just has a different effect and that would be really cool to have and we just have a bunch of different effects going on um, they don't even need to be crazy effects i just want the, it just be really cool to have but yeah that's probably much later down the line for this i'm still waiting on my second type of prison for <laughs> for a prison but that's a theory craft idea that'll probably never come true but anyway, let's move on to the last card. This is the card that I didn't add in the last draft of the video that I made. He is getting released alongside the initial wave of Granzel support. I do say to take his existence with a grain of salt for how how generic, how plug and play it is into quite a few decks. I can't really attest to his effectiveness in those other decks compared to Granzel, but he seems really good in Granzel. So let's get straight into it. This is White Flash Scythe Baldurid. <clears throat> Let him expand the boundaries with his pure white blade. It's not even a pure white blade. There's pink and stuff in there. But anyway, uh, during the battle that this unit boosted, if you have a grade three or greater vanguard and your order zone has two or more set orders, this unit gets 5k, so it's a 13k booster. And at the end of the battle that this unit boosted, if your order zone has a set order, put this into your soul, look at the top five cards of your deck, choose up to one grade two or greater unit card or set order from among them, reveal it, put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. Now this is the reason why I think he's going to be very hard to find and why I am very thankful uh, that I have priority for, no, uh, not Nova Grapplers, for Brandt Gate for set two in my friend group because this guy is probably going to be put into quite a lot of places i can see heroes running this i can see people chucking it into orphist if there's any space in that deck right now but yeah anything that has a orders and it's a and it's a it's such a broad grade two or greater unit or set order search you're searching for anything that's grade two or greater in your deck and that is really good and he refuels your soul and frees up space for calling Eldia uh, rotovisors later on in the game but yeah this really good really really good card again he isn't direct rotovisor support so that is another thing but again he is getting released in the same set so i would heavily very heavily recommend this if um, others haven't already but yeah so I, this is everything that i have for the rotovisors i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like and sub if you enjoyed the content you found it helpful and uh yeah i'll catch you guys in future videos i finally have some free time so i am 
obviously re-recording this, and getting all of the last week's games chopped up and edited for posting. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.